Yo, what is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be reviewing Thor Love and Thunder, one of the worst MCU Phase 4 movies in my opinion. So let's jump right into it. So who would have thought having high expectations for the MCU would have been a terrible mistake? Not me. The main point that I'm trying to talk about in this review is about the film's comedy. I think it tried too hard to be a funny film and... I noticed that with a short time apart from a comedic scene and a serious scene, the serious scenes will not hit as hard as it needs to. There were jokes like about every five minutes and th the comedy is not bad but you cannot have like a laughable scene 10 minutes prior to for example having someone lose their loved one and expect it to be a serious scene. And a lot of the plot was just convenient and the pacing felt rushed as well um let me try to paint a picture here so imagine iron man being underwater but with his suit uh being able to breathe properly and he loses his, his suit and guess what there's a rebreather under in the ocean or he can move underwater while breathing without any issue so that's what this movie did a lot um christian bale's gore was like a very fun thing to see Christian Bale was like one of the best actors in my opinion but his character was underutilized and very disappointing so his development was hindered greatly and if Christian Bale wasn't in the role I'm sure this movie will be rated even more poorly but um it's still an enjoyable movie needless to say this movie was enjoyable uh, the CGI looked great in my opinion. I know a lot of people complained about that. The visuals, cinematography, and like the colors that were shown in this film were also very fun to see. And I'll always love a display of Thor's abilities on the big screen. So, and it was also fun seeing Zeus and Thor the God Butcher. So that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.